No modern president has lost as many cabinet officials or senior advisors in their entire first term as Trump has in his first 30 months. It's a record. And now he's just running up the score. Major announcement today by President Trump on Twitter that he has fired his national security advisor, John Bolton. This is the tweet. I informed John Bolton last night that his services are no longer needed at the White House. I disagreed strongly with many of his suggestions, as did others in the administration. And therefore, I asked John for his resignation, which was given to me this morning. That's right. Trump has fired John Bolton as his national security advisor. And really, it's no surprise because Bolton was just too hawkish for Trump. His solution to every situation was bombs. What do you think about North Korea? Bombs. What do you do with Iran? Bombs. What do you get Mike Pence for Secret Santa? Bombs. Yo, yo, you need to leave, man. And by the way, Bolton was the third national security advisor Trump has pushed out. Honestly, it's amazing that America's unemployment numbers are so low, considering Trump has fired half of the country. <laughs> but yes, John Bolton is out. And to mark the occasion, his mustache was lowered to half-mast. <laughs> A very, very sad day for the nation. Now, in a normal White House, a transition like this would be presented very smoothly. But because Donald Trump is a messy bitch who lives for drama, <laughs> things are going down a little differently. President Trump says he asked for his resignation, but Bolton is pushing back. He says he offered to resign last night. John quotes. Bolton just texted me. Oh. Just now, okay. he's watching. Can you and read it? He, yeah, he said, uh, let's be clear, I resigned. And I said, do you mind if I say that while you were talking? And he wrote, yes. So John Bolton has just told me, texted me, to said, I resigned. Ooh, shit just got real. <laughs> Trump says he fired Bolton, but Bolton is like, uh, no, I quit, and you're trying to take credit for me quitting. Yeah. This actually makes me wish that hurricanes could talk, yeah? <laughs> So Hurricane Dorian could have clapped back at Trump last week. Dorian is totally gonna hit Alabama and be like, bitch, I wasn't going nowhere near Alabama. <laughs> yeah, but keep talking and I'm gonna come over there and blow that weave off your head. <laughs> now, with Bolton gone, the question is, who will be the next to leave? Nobody knows. But it was super weird today that when Trump fired Bolton, Melania tried to sneak out with him. She was like... <laughs> Oh, no, so sad to be fired. I'm also going. <laughs> 